Hey there, guitar enthusiast. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a story about the incredible journey of none other than Matthias Jabs, the legendary guitarist of the Scorpions. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on stories like this one. Matthias Jabs, born in Hanover, Germany on October 25th, 1955, is best known as the lead guitarist for German metal band Scorpions. But he wasn't always the rock star we know today. He started his musical journey, like many of us, with a humble beginning. I started playing guitar when I was 13 years old. I spent the first couple of years at home rehearsing. I knew Yuli Roth, the guy who was in the Scorpions before me. We lived in the same community near the Hanover Airport. I went to school with his younger brother. Jab states, Hendrix got me started, but I was listening to other styles as well. Players like John McLaughlin, Al Di Miola, and Jeff Beck. I was trying to play Paganini violin stuff on guitar. I rehearse at home up to eight hours a day. The White Room by Cream and All Along the Watchtower by Hendrix mesmerized me for some reason. For blues, I like to listen to Johnny Winter. Now the turning point in Jabs' career was when he joined the iconic rock band Scorpions in 1978. Little did he know that he was about to embark on a legendary journey that would span decades. Before joining the Scorpions, Jabs played in the bands Lady, Fargo, and Deadlock. Jabs was discovered by Scorpions bassist Francis Buchholz, who was tutoring him in mathematics. Buchholz subsequently recommended the band give him an audition after lead guitarist Yuli John Roth quit the band in 1978. By mid-1978, after auditioning around 140 guitarists, the Scorpions recruited Jabs to replace Roth. Jabs brought a unique blend of energy and melodic guitar playing to the Scorpions. Following the addition of Jabs, Scorpions signed with Mercury Records in the United States and EMI Worldwide to record their next album, Love Drive. Michael Schenker also returned to the group for a short period during the recording of the album. This gave the band three guitarists, and the resulting album, Love Drive, which some critics considered to be the pinnacle of their career, contained such fan favorites as Loving You Sunday Morning, Holiday, and the instrumental Coast to Coast. After the completion and release of the album, the band decided to retain Michael in the band, forcing Jabs to leave. However, in April 1979, after only a few weeks on the tour, Michael quit, and Jabs was immediately brought in to permanently replace him. Jab's playing style was a large part of Love Drive's newer, heavier sound. The sound would become the band's signature as it would propel them into superstardom in the 1980s. In 1980, the band released Animal Magnetism containing classics such as The Zoo and Make It Real. Soon after the album's release, Mine began experiencing throat problems. He required surgery on his vocal cords and doubts were raised about whether he would ever sing again. Meanwhile, the band began working on their next album, Blackout, in 1981. A then-unknown Don Dawkin was brought in to provide guide and backing vocals while Mine recovered. Mine eventually healed completely and was able to finish the album. Blackout was released in 1982 and quickly became the band's best-selling album to that point. Blackout spawned two singles, No One Like You and Can't Live Without You. Gaining in popularity from the success of Blackout, the Scorpions performed to over 375,000 fans on day two of the Bus Festival concert in California in 1983. The concert was aired live on MTV, giving the band wide exposure. The 1984 album Love at First Thing cemented the Scorpions' status as an internationally popular band, propelled by the singles Rock You Like a Hurricane, Love at First Thing climbed the charts and went double platinum in the USA a few months after its release. MTV gave the album's videos, Rock You Like a Hurricane, Bad Boys Running Wild, Big City Nights, and The Power Ballad, Still Loving You, significant airplay, greatly contributing to the band's success. The Scorpions have given us countless anthems, and Matthias Jab's guitar work plays a crucial role in these classics. Songs like Rock You Like a Hurricane, No One Like You, and Winds of Change are masterpieces that wouldn't be the same without his magical touch. Savage Amusement, released in 1988, spawned Rhythm of Love in 1990's Crazy World, 
at Worldwide Smash Winds of Change. The band continued to record and tour throughout the 90s and 2000s. In 2010, they released Sting in the Tell and announced a farewell tour. Soon after the tour began, though, they announced that they would continue recording beyond the tour. Today, Matthias Jabs is not only a rock legend, but also an inspiration for aspiring guitarists worldwide. His passion for music and an unwavering dedication to his craft are nothing short of extraordinary. The band released their 19th studio album, Rock Believer, on February 25th, 2022. The Scorpions are still out there touring with a Las Vegas residency scheduled in 2024, which plans to tour through 2025 for their 60th anniversary. I remember seeing them for the first time in 1984 on the Love at First Sting tour, and I was impressed by Jab's playing and the band as a whole. That opening riff to Bad Boys Running Wild is just so amazing. Jab's also owns a music store, MJ Guitars, in Munich, Germany. So there you have it, the incredible journey of Matthias Jabs, the guitar hero who rocked our world. If you found the story as inspiring as we did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know in the comments which Scorpion songs featuring Jabs is your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you next time with more stories about the legends of music. Stay rockin'.